Sergio Reguilon, Alex Tellez, and Vitaly Mikolenko. Man United are getting linked with left backs all over the shop. And one thing is for sure now, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer wants to sign a new left back for United this summer. And Sergio Reguilon is the leading candidate and stories have exploded in Spain in the last 24 hours. So I'm going to bring you bang up to date with everything that's happening with Reguilon to United. So make sure you drop a like on this video and make sure before we begin, you join our Fantasy Premier League. There's over a thousand entrants now and join our Discord server. Over a thousand of us on there in the first few days. I'll be on there straight after this video. We can have a live chat about Reguilon, about Tellez and about Mikolenko. So make sure you follow the link in the description. Join it. But let's talk about Regulon. As I said, in the last 24 hours, these links really have exploded with the Regulon to United deal. We've got Marsa here saying Regulon will work at Valder Bibas until a decision is made on his future. We'll sort of stay away from Real Madrid. Real Madrid's options are now to sell him for a profit or loan him back to Sevilla. Now, the one that's causing the most noise here is Senan Escalante, who works close to Sevilla, saying that he will not be Sevilla's left back next season. They were willing to pay 20 million, but United are willing to pay 30 million and give him 5 million a season. Got Alvaro Montero here saying that United, Arsenal, Sevilla are the options for him. The player likes the idea of playing in the Premier League and talk about a strong interest from United and that Zinedine Zidane does not have him in his plans. So as I said, there's a lot of noise coming from Spain and it's those links that are close to Sevilla. Sen and Escalante, they're the ones that are causing the most noise because obviously... Sevilla are going to really know what's going on with Regulon because he spent last year on loan with them and they are linked with going after him again this summer. And there's more updates on top of that from Cope's Miguel Diaz. He's saying that Regulon has no place in Real Madrid and that United are the best placed team to sign him. But the problem is that they do not want to include a buyback option. Now, what is this buyback option and why would it be a problem? There's two different types. The first one would just be a first refusal type buyback. So if United sign Regulon and in two years time we wanted to sell him for 45 million, Real Madrid would have the ability to sign him before any other club for 45 million. So in that sense, that wouldn't be a problem. The problem would be the second type of buyback clause. Now that is when Real Madrid would get a guaranteed offer that would be accepted for Regulon in a couple of years time. Alvaro Morata is the best example of this because Real Madrid have used one of these clauses before. When he left he left for 20 million when he rejoined a couple of years later. He rejoined for 30 million. So if that clause exists and Real Madrid push for that clause to exist in the contract, I'll go on record here and saying I do not think United will sign Sergio Regulon because it would effectively make United a feeder club for Real Madrid. Get a player, develop him for a couple of years into a much better player and lose him for a fee that you know is going to be way less than what his market value is. United will not do that. United should not do that. We need to sign players who want to play for United, not players who want to come, use United for a training ground and then go back to Madrid, a better player in a better position to be their first choice left back. Solskjaer will not want that and I do not think that will happen. And if Madrid are really firm that this clause has to be included in the contract, I think United will go elsewhere and we are already looking. The 2021 season countdown is brought to you by Odds Checker your one-stop betting hub. As always, I want to thank Odds Checker for sponsoring the Season Countdown content here on United People's TV. Make sure you follow the link in the description to download their free app. It's your one-stop betting hub. You used to just be able to compare odds on Odds Checker, but now you can bet directly on there. And it's good to look at because the season is really coming up fast and United still need to do transfers and maybe we still need to sign a left-back. But as I said there, Regulon clearly is United's first choice. That's the player we're aggressively going for. But because of this buyback clause, I think United are looking elsewhere. And the first name that's come up is Alex Tellez. Now, reports came from Ebola out in Portugal that United was sniffing around him. And at 27, Tellez would come in and be a ready-made first-team senior player in this United squad. He's only got 10 months left on his contract and he's refusing to sign a new one. So it will be a very viable alternative to Regulon. Let me know who you would prefer if you had a choice of the two, Tellez or Regulon. Be interested to know that in the comments. But that's only one other left back we're looking at. We've got Vitaly Mikolenko. Manchester Evening News saying that United are interested in the 21-year-old Dynamo Kiev left back. He's broken into their first team. Much younger than Tellez, younger than Regulon. And in terms of his development, he would come in and improve the options, but not necessarily improve the starting eleven straight away. So you've got Regulon there. You've got Mikolenko. 
and you've got Tellez. That's three left backs that United have been linked with in the last 24, 48 hours. Now, the Regulon rumours are going a little bit further back and they're just really developing. But it goes to show that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is not happy with his left back choices. Luke Shaw improves last season, then he got injured and the injuries came back. And you really, it's at this point where, is it Solskjaer being ruthless or Solskjaer just seeing the obvious problems that Shaw's injuries are just going to keep coming back? And Brandon Williams, I don't feel, is ready to be United's left back. I'm not even sure if left back's his best position. Maybe he'll be right back. Maybe, as I said, he'll be shifted to right back. Diogo Delot will be moved on. And he'll be Aaron Wan-Bissaka's understudy. We'll see about that. But left back is a problem for United. Not only because we need it for the width, but Rashford needs it. Rashford needs a proper left back because with that overlapping fullback, it will open the space up for Rashford. Now, Fabrizio Romano has had his say on the latest Regulon rumours. He's saying that there has been no decision just yet. But United and Regulon, that is where the focus is right now. You've got reports from Spain saying United are ready to offer 30 million with 5 million a year. I think that's a very fair price for a 23-year-old left-back who's just won the Europa League, has some European experience, therefore, in the second-tier competition and impressed very well at Sevilla. So much so that Real Madrid might not want to let him go without that buyback clause. But if that buyback clause is included, I do not think that United will sign him. Because, it, as I said, it will make United a feeder club for Real Madrid. Just send us a player that you want to improve. We'll do it for a couple of years then you can have him back at whatever price you fancy, not the price that we want to sell him at. That's not the sort of culture that Solskjaer is trying to build at United. He wants players who he's going to sign that are going to be at the club for a long time. Not players like Ibrahimovic or Mkhitaryan or Di Maria that are going to come in, spend a year or two at United and then move on. He wants players who are going to be at United for a good number of years. And someone like Regulon, if we don't have that buyback clause, he could be one of those players. Tell us. He could be one of those players and so could Mikolenko. So you can understand all the links. But that is what is going on with Regulon to United at the moment. We're aggressively pushing for him. He's clearly out of these three left backs, our first choice. That buyback clause could be the sticking point. That's where we need to see developments for this transfer to go through. The fee won't be a problem. The wages won't be a problem. Regulon wanting to play in the Premier League won't be a problem. It's that buyback clause. Every transfer has got its complications. And with Regulon, it's going to be that. But that is the latest on Regulon to United. Make sure you smash a like on this video. It really helps us. And a one more shout out to Odds Checker for sponsoring our season countdown content. There is a link in the description. Go and download that app. It will help United People's TV if you do so. It's your one-stop betting hub. And let's hope that Regulon can become a United player. But if there's any more transfer developments, of course, you'll get them first here on United People's TV. Maybe not first, actually, but you'll get them in proper detail with the stories and where they're coming from. Well, what more could you want?